Hey guys, Chris from American Warrior Forge here again. Um, so today I'm going to show you just a real quick video. It's a quick tip, uh, something I actually learned from Alex Norton from Valhalla Ironworks, a, a pro tip that he gave me one time uh, through a Patreon video. Um, if you're not a patron of his, I, I highly recommend it. He has a lot of great content and a lot of knowledge. So um, <clears throat> what I'm going to show you today is the process of how I glue together compound handle pieces so if you've got like a different color wood bolster uh, versus the rest of the scales or something to that effect or, or putting something in the middle to kind of highlight and bring some color and some differentiation to the handle so let's go over to the workbench and i'll show you uh the couple tips that he gave me that really seemed to help a lot all right guys so a couple things here this little tool is uh basically just an angle finder uh it costs a couple bucks and um I think I got mine at Harbor Freight. But anyways, this just helps find angles if you're trying to do um, an angled piece, like, like I am here with this ironwood and turquoise accent, okay? Um, so it just helps with stuff like that, all right? Um, the, once you've got your angle found, and you've got your pieces cut out and everything, another tip is this guy right here. This is just a cut off piece of a hacksaw blade. And what you're gonna do with this hacksaw blade is you're gonna make marks on all the surfaces of your handle material that you're gonna be gluing together. And it's best to go in different directions so that you have a variety in your scratch pattern. And this will allow the pieces to glue together better because they're going to have, even though they are pretty minuscule looking to our eyes, it's going to have a scratch pattern. So it has something for the, the glue to seep into and to hold on to. So we're just going to do that on the surfaces, all the surfaces that are going to touch, especially with something like this, like a, like a G10 or uh, this is a, a turquoise. Um, you really want to rough that up because it's a really flat, oops, it's a really flat, smooth surface to begin with, and that does not lend itself well to the glue being able to hold so I'm just gonna scratch different directions. You can see I got kind of a crisscross pattern plus up and down on both of these sides that are going to be touching. Okay, and this is the other side that I need to do. What's great about this method too is that uh, this is cheap. You know, I bought a 10 pack or something like that of uh, bandsaw blades from Harbor Freight. And this is the only one I've used so far, as far as uh, a little cutoff piece. So it lasts quite a while, and it really does make a difference on these pieces sticking together. Okay, got my scratches in this one. So now it's going to go together like that okay so next stop is the glue okay guys so next step is going to be the glue and uh, so what i use and what uh, the tips i got was to use actually super glue or uh, ca glue so rather than using the store-bought stuff which can be very frustrating i'm using this bob smith industries or bsi super glue this this came in a kit and it comes with some insta set so you can actually spray this and instantly cure your ca glue so you don't have to wait for it to uh, to cure it has some debonder and then three different viscosities of ca glue super thin so that's going to have a, a better capillary effect and seep down into crevices extra thick and then medium gap filling okay so you can use different viscosities depending on what you're doing. 
So what I'm going to do is now that we've got our scratches on here, I'm going to go ahead and glove up so I don't get super glue over my hands. Put some glue on each of those areas and then put this together and spray it with the activator. Now, when you put it together, one thing I like to do is I like to lay it out flat like this. And then I like to take the knife that it's going to be the handle for. And I like to lay it on there before the glue and just kind of line everything up with the spine of the knife to the tops of the handle so that I can make sure that I've got this angle right and that everything lines up uh, so that I don't have any gaps once I go to attach it and grind away material. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my blocks up on this other scale just because my workbench has some little bumps here and there. So I want a fairly flat surface. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take some of this, uh, I'm going to use this Max Cure extra thick at first just to get the party started. I'll put some on these two surfaces. Line this all up. Okay, it's pretty good. And I'm going to spray it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this medium gap filling and I'm going to go in the cracks right here. There we go. Now we've got some glue coming out. I'm going to fill these gaps around the front. And just go around that on all sides. You could also use the super thin here because that capillary effect, it's really going to uh, seep down into the cracks there. Okay. And then once again, I'm going to spray the Insta Set just so I don't have to wait. Boom. Just like that got my turquoise glued into my scale. That little nub that sticks up right there obviously will be ground flat with the scale itself and then this will gradually transition up to match this finger groove here. And that is how I initially glued it up um, before attaching it to the knife handle with epoxy and pins okay okay so i went and ground off the excess real quick and that is what we are left with nice little accent piece i gotta do the other scale still but a uh, nice little accent in this handle i'll go just like that all right guys so got our handle scale ready just gotta do the other one I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm a new channel again, so like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Every little bit helps. Hit me up with questions. If there's something you'd want to see a video done on, let me know. I'd be more than happy to try to put one together. I'm uh, Hopefully this year in 2023, I'm going to hopefully be putting videos out a little bit more regularly. I've been doing about one a month or so uh, lately. I slowed down a little over the Christmas season because I was just swamped with orders. But uh, yeah, again, guys, I appreciate you joining me and uh, go make something. See you later.